we don't know what's gonna happen. Um, there's been rumor of Sasquai in the area, so, and it's also raining, which is gonna be bad for continuity. But you know, whatever, we'll, we'll get it fixed and it is nice out, so that's, yeah. I'm at breath because I'm fat! Actually, it's just because we're at 12,000 feet. Hey, I'm Danny George. This was a totally different project for us, and I think the group that we worked with, kind of doing more of a, a skidded type uh, shoot, with Pikes Peak being the background and Sasquatch, of course, being the leader of the pack so action all right man we're all gassed up ready to go all right i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go hit the mountain make a couple check marks sounds good make some markers so i know oh 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 Fail. <laughs> just do sasquatching uh, they're in my pants which are under the sasquatch thing <laughs> name is dan brockett lucky enough to be part of team hankook we got approached by Paul Joe from, from Hankook to do this video project. Just right, right, right where that rock is, duck by these branches. Right. And as soon as you get to about there, just turn around and come back. And we'll do a slow-mo one. On the way from Florida to Albuquerque, Jesse Wood drew up some pretty amazing looking storyboards, which should be edited into the video. Like we should show them. I've always liked Dan from obviously his uh, motorcycle drift shoots from before and uh, he's got a cool unique out of the box kind of thinking style which uh, I think complements us as well so you know going over ideas with him trying to come up with this plan of how we can do something cool with Pikes Peak that maybe hasn't been done before was uh, really easy. Danny George is always a blast to work with. He's a silly little man and I like to touch his beard. Yeah. Okay. Thanks to help. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Did uh, did you see anything up there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Um, filming was pretty good. It was kind of a stealth mission. We got to play in the forest a little bit. Did some fishing. That's how Dan smells, I can tell. It smells like, Those, uh... it smells like love. <sighs> well, I mean, A, this is different than me being Officer Dan because I was in a Sasquatch costume. Dan Squatch. <laughs> And I'm going to leave it at A. I didn't have to say anything at all. I just had to be in a Sasquatch costume, so it was kind of nice. I didn't have to actually do any acting on camera. A lot of the times we couldn't stop laughing about what was happening, which is probably a good thing, but we'll see. It was cool driving up trying to find really where these locations were going to be uh, filmed at. And uh, John, our, our local host for the event, uh, knew a couple secrets, the river scene, and uh, some of the woods areas that uh, turned out really well for the shoot. So Danny actually played most of the Sasquatch running through the forest part. Uh, but then of course when Danny was in a car, we actually got Tommy's cousin to replace him as Sasquatch. And he got to be the one in the drift car while we were actually drifting with his hand out the window. And then uh, he did the stick throw scene, which turned out really awesome. <laughs> the slow-mo stick throw scene. He's got the intensity in his eyes, you know? That's how we knew he was good for the part. So as with any filming project that I've ever been involved with at least, things go wrong and then you have to make adaptations to what it should have been. 
So Danny didn't actually finish the Pike's Peak race, so this kind of changed the way that we were gonna do the video, which ended up working out pretty well. You know, it was like shoot this and oh, that changed, and now we need to go back and make sure that this works for the story and, and reshoot a couple things to make that work for the other thing that didn't work. So it was, uh, you know, we were running around trying to scavenge <laughs> what was left and what we could actually put together. And I think uh, overall it actually came together really well. And, I'm stoked to uh, see the final product. So we filmed three back-to-back -back runs um, in which the last one I blew my axle. So we were pretty much done filming for the day. And Jesse Wood and his Hollywood Magic made that seem like six different turns. So if you pay attention, it's the same turn over and over and over again. We filmed a lot of the chase scenes on the way back down, coasting down the mountain, not in gear because I had one axle. Movie magic. Hashtag. I've personally never been that high up without being in an airplane. Um, so it was uh, an interesting experience as well. And Albuquerque is pretty high already, but not like Pike's Peak is. So being out of breath a lot, uh, being stuffed inside a Sasquatch costume and trying to take in the views through the very small eye holes that I was looking through was, was pretty epic. So that was a really good time and a great experience all around. So thank you very much, Hankook, for the opportunity to film this rad video for you guys. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Stay tuned for part two. And please subscribe to Hankook's YouTube channel. You know how to do it. I know you do. You've been on the internet before. I can sense it.